Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021. So I hope you're well Scorpio. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and I wish you a happy new year for this week. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. I'm doing a mini reading this week because like so many of you, as I'm sure you understand, it's a bit hectic between, between Christmas and New Year. So, uh, but nevertheless, if it's meant to resonate for you, it still will. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021 and there you are in your challenge position okay so king of cups in the challenge position king of cups is you for me as a reader male or female energy oh my goodness the sun that's the advice from spirit and the queen of wands is your outcome bottom of the deck we have ace of swords <laughs> i love the energy okay let's clarify the court cards oh it's interesting i pre-shuffled before every reading there is some victory coming your way. Definitely two Ace of Swords. Okay, so let's clarify this King of Cups, please, for Scorpio, our lovely Scorpios. Let's clarify the King of Cups with Scorpio, thank you, for the week. Let's clarify what this King of Cups is. Thank you. Okay, so I've got the Three of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands, please. Thank you. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, Scorpio, so King of Cups is you, male or female energy. This is you. Three of Cups is sometimes a card of collaboration, can sometimes represent teamwork, um, friendship, emotional support. You might have needed some emotional support. It to do with the situation, you know. Uh, this is a card of celebration. The winter is over, the spring is here. So it feels for some of you, whatever you've been challenged with, Scorpio, you're going to come through it. It could be other people have helped you through this situation in whatever context. Um, it could be in personal relationships. This could also be in terms of business, you know, or family. But there's definitely an energy if you'll come through the other side of this things are beginning to emerge in a positive way. This is a card of sometimes reasons to celebrate. And it's also a card of the winter is over, the spring is here. So it feels like whatever challenge that you've been through here, Scorpio, there is some closure. Things are beginning to change. And they are. Because when the sun comes out, everything begins to feel good. Everything begins to grow. Everything begins to lift. It talks about good times ahead, better times to come. Uh, you can see all the sunflowers representing abundance. It's very, very good in terms of money, career. Uh, it is material success with the sun card. It's a card of success, um, a successful outcome even. Coming through, again, though, the other side of a challenge. This is the card of releasing and regeneration as well and restoration uh, and stepping into your light. So definitely an energy of releasing the worst of something and 
stepping on the path towards something better. Um, so definitely an energy of there is growth, there is energy, things are beginning to happen. Um, these things are beginning to feel good, it's uplifting energy, it's positive, it's warm, and it's divine energy shining on you. But there's a feeling of being restored here. I mean, it can be to do with healing as well, some kind of healing uh, or recovery. Healing or recovery in whatever situation, that could be in a relationship, that could be in terms of money and career. Like I said, it is a general reading, so take what resonates for you. The, the Queen of Wands, like I said, could be a person in your life, male or female energy. She's generally an Aries for me as a reader, but can be Leo Sagittarius as well. Um, but we have a lot of anxiety and stress caused with this person. Now, she could be, she is a very good, I mean, generally, she's known as someone who's a magnetic leader. So very good in terms of business career. But yet we have the Nine of Swords with this. So... Obviously, this could be a boss or a colleague. Somebody has caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. This could be a relationship or a family person or a friend. You know, this, this kind of energy here, Scorpio, who has caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. It feels in this situation... A person, it feels like a person has done that. There's been somebody who has caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, upset, worry. And the Nine of Swords is when we focus on the negative, things just stack up in our mind like the swords on that wall. You know, it, it is one of those energy of distorted reality, seeing things worse than they really are even though there's a reason for you to feel like this, this is about seeing things worse than they really are. Now, if it's not to do with a person, this is an energy of taking control back of a situation. So it could be taking control of your mind and taking decisive action, doing something about something that has caused you stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. Because there's a definitely an energy here, Scorpio. Whatever the situation, things are about to get so much better. Absolutely. There is recovery. There is something better ahead. You will come through the other side of the obstacle or challenge that you faced. And that's what you're being told in the challenge position. The King of Cups, and I will say this, he sits in the middle of very choppy waters and he sits in the middle of the ocean. So you can understand the ocean is miles and miles deep. And if the King of Cups gave into his emotions, if he didn't master his emotions, he would sink miles and miles below the surface of that water. So he understands the need to master a situation now, rise above something. You have an opportunity to rise above something and have some kind of successful outcome here. Because for some of you, I mean, the Ace of Swords is a card of victory and it's a hard won victory. It can be a card of liberation, truth. Um, but the Ace of Swords is a, is a card of success. I will come through the situation. And it's interesting because the 10 in tarot in the minor arcana is a completion. And we have the nine of swords here and the 10 sword as well, interestingly enough, which is something is completing. Something is nearly over. Something that has caused you sleepless nights, anxiety, worry. Things are about to get a lot better for you. Like I said, that could be to do with an, uh, a person who's of influence in your life, who's caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. This is claiming some kind of victory. So there's definitely an energy of the victory is yours. Definitely an energy of success, a successful outcome here, Scorpio. Um, it can be a card of breakthroughs as well. But this is also a card of mental clarity, 
where there wasn't clarity in the nine of swords this is where you are cutting cords it feels like cutting cords it feels like claiming some kind of victory truth is on your side truth will out you know it's that kind of energy of um a righteous success it definitely feels like a proper deserved success this is the hand of god giving you the sword of truth giving you back your crown your crown of honor and power so there's definitely an energy of some kind of righteous success coming your way or rightful uh, rightful success a right something is being righted here it feels very beautiful and that's what you're being told you know, you will step into your light. Even though you might not have full clarity right now, certainly with this Nine of Swords, everything will become clear and it's going to feel so much better. And you're going to come through this challenging time. So great, lovely healing, regenerative, restorative energy that is being restored by, with victory. I mean, there's a lot of divine energy here as well, I have to say. So I'm going to pull one more card, Scorpio, as an advice. One more card for Scorpio, please. One more card for Scorpio, thank you. Any other advice for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Any other advice for our lovely Scorpios? Thank you. That flew out. <laughs> okay. So we have the world. It kind of came out a bit like this as well, Scorpio. So sometimes this can be about seeking personal closure to a situation as well. Yeah. But, you know, I definitely get this energy of something closing off. And this, the Three of Cups is the winter is over, the spring is here, or soon will be. It feels in this situation something is about to happen. Could be a decision, could be the way you're looking at something, could be some news or breakthrough that's coming your way that is allowing you to step through one phase of your life to the next to this powerful new beginning that's been offered to you by God, the universe, the divine. And this is also, let me just remind you, Scorpio, this is the victory wreath. So this is your victory, a major victory, but something is completing. We definitely got the energy of something is closing, completing, and this is drawing a line under something, victoriously stepping through to a new phase of your life. So very, very powerful energy indeed. It feels like this is with another person. Again, fire energy can represent somebody who is just, you know, very charismatic, go-getting, full of energy, um, magnetic. You know, that kind of energy is the queen of wands. Uh, very decisive. She's a leader. She can also be a card of independence as well. So that could be part of this. Okay, yeah. I love that this has come out for you, Scorpio, because it feels that, I mean, you are the Phoenix Rising card. The Death card is the Phoenix Rising card. And I'm so pleased that the Phoenix has come out for you because this is your time to be that Phoenix. Remember, the phoenix actively destroys the old in order to embrace the new. And we have the old, the ending, and the new coming in now. The victory, the reward, the breakthrough. So we have empower. Fire activations bring creative and spiritual freedom. Yeah, and we have the fire activations here with the Queen of Wands. Like I said, this can be a person or the energy of... So, as I said, tell you what resonates for you, Scorpio, but it definitely feels that the actions that you're making this week are paving the, the way towards some major victory. 
and definitely this energy of out with the old in with the new i mean obviously we are starting the new year as well so it ties in very beautifully but it definitely feels like this new year is meaning something to you in the sense that you're ready to just release what's gone release let go which is the sun card release let go and step into your light yeah it feels very very beautiful indeed so that is what I have for you this week, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you. I wish you a happy new year and I will see you next time. Thank you.